Hello and welcome back to Erica Cole Cooking. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some delicious lobster and crab egg rolls. This video is definitely for my seafood lovers. Make sure you save this because I know it's gonna be one of your favorite recipes. So let me show you. So I'm just gonna give you a glimpse of the things you're gonna need. This stuff over here is gonna be for our sauce. This is all the rest of the stuff that is gonna go into the egg rolls. And of course I have the wrappers right here. I have some broccoli slaw. This is optional, you don't have to do that. I just want to add a crunch into mine um, and cornstarch for the added crunch. Then I have the green onions and the lime for um, after garnish. So after they're already cooked. And don't forget your shopping list will be in the description box so you can know exactly what you need. The first thing I'm gonna do is start with making um, the bang bang sauce that you're gonna use after. So I'm gonna add in one cup of mayo. Two tablespoons of sriracha. Okay, now I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of the Thai sweet chili sauce. It's actually pretty good, but I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of honey because I want a little bit more sweet. Actually, that was a half a tablespoon of honey. Not a teaspoon. Okay, now that we're done with this, we're gonna set this to the side, put it in the refrigerator. Right, you're gonna add in a half cup of mayo. A few sprinkles of Worcestershire sauce. A half teaspoon of hot sauce. I'm using Tabasco sauce. You can use whatever hot sauce you like. A half teaspoon of sugar using a half teaspoon of Old Bay. I'm gonna be using some of my 90s flavor seasoning, which is for seafood. So I'm gonna use a little dash of this. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Adding a few sprinkles of onion powder, just a little bit, and some pepper. So make sure you taste this before you add in your um, crab meat because you don't wanna break your crab meat up. You want to fold your crab meat into this mixture. So add it more sugar and just a few sprinkles. I'm gonna taste it now. See how much how it tastes. So now we're just gonna put this to the side. Now you want to add in your onions. Also gonna add in our broccoli mix, the broccoli sauce. I'm gonna add that in there too. Cook this down to get a little soft, and then I'm gonna remove it from the heat. Then this is some salt and pepper too. So these are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off the heat and put these into a separate bowl. Okay, now I'm adding some more oil to the pans. I'm gonna add in some more lobster. I'm just gonna season them. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of Old Bay. Now I'm gonna add in a few sprinkles of our cornstarch, because I want these to be crispy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our crab. I started adding the lobster in. I thought it was filming y'all, sorry. Go ahead and mix that around. These are gonna be so good. Lobster and crab. It's gonna be bomb. I'm gonna add in just a few breadcrumbs, just some. So I have a half a cup, but I'm just gonna sprinkle until I see how much it takes to form. I'm not gonna like measure out an amount. Sprinkle some more in there because obviously that wasn't enough, so. Some more. And make sure that you're like 
kind of folding it into the mix because you don't want it to break up all your crab meat. Pouring a little bit more so I'm not here all day. <laughs> pouring and pouring. Whenever it's the way you want it, you can stop adding the breadcrumbs in, but I want it to be formed just a little bit more than this. Okay, so I mixed this all up until I got this type of consistency. So let me show you with the spoon. So it's like basically like the liquid's drained out of it. Like whatever moisture was there is just a tiny bit left. And that's exactly how you want it. Now I use a garlic and herb um, breadcrumb and this tastes so good, add it into this. So if you can find that at your grocery store when you get breadcrumbs, get that can because when I mixed this in with this, it was really, really good. And this is how much I have left over. It's less than a fourth, it's like a little bit in there. So you may need, um, I started with a half a cup and then just, you know, worked it in slowly. All right, so we're gonna start with our one egg roll. I mean, this is two wrappers, good thing. That was kind of thick, I didn't know that. We are going to spoon in and we're gonna mix right into the middle there. I'll put a little bit more in there. Take next, I'm gonna take some like some of this broccoli mixture. I'm gonna add that right on top of there. I just took some of the broccoli mixture and just added it right on top of there. So I'm gonna take the egg wash. I'm just gonna put it on the corners. If you have a brush, you can use a brush to do this, but I'm just gonna use my finger. Fold the ends in, the sides in like this. Like an envelope. And then just put this over here like this. And try to tuck everything in there. And then just roll. So here's your first one. One and then the other and then on this one here. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Just like that. You wanna make sure they're closed up because you don't want anything to seep out while you're cooking it. Okay, so I used all of the crab meat mixture. It ended up making eight egg rolls with a heaping amount inside. I have my grease heating up now so we can get ready to drop these in. We're gonna put one egg roll into our grease. So this is the color that we want them. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these ones and add the other ones in. I put the rest of them in here. The grease is a little bit hotter. I just want a little bit more brown. Let's just get them all out. I don't want them to burn, so don't leave them in there too long. I look really good. Just perfect, y'all. So I'm just gonna cut one in half and see what it looks like. So this is what it looked like in the inside. 
So that broccoli just gave it some color and it looks really, really good. Y'all can see the lobster and the crab and all the colors from the coleslaw. Don't forget our sauce. So you just want to drizzle some of this on top of there and put some in a bowl so you can dip it because it's really, really good. And you got to make sure you add that lime too and the green onions. So here it is, you guys, lobster and crab egg rolls. So crunchy, so delicious, so flavorful. Don't forget to add on your green onions and do not forget the lime. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Follow me on my social media. My name is Erica Cole Cooking on everything. Share this video with your peeps if they love good food. I'm telling y'all, this one is just gonna knock it right off the park. And don't say I didn't show you. I heart food and I heart you. Until the next time.